So since my last Fallout video, I wanted to discuss more of the Fallout universe and things that I want to talk about because Fallout is one of my favorite franchises since growing up with Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 4. I do still enjoy these games and you know with my last video discussing the current state of Fallout 76 which you guys really really enjoyed and i really do appreciate your guys' support on the video that really meant a lot there were a lot of heartfelt comments on that video and i really did appreciate it but going into further detail i wanted to talk about fallout 5's future now fallout 5 isn't some game that they haven't confirmed but obviously they've hinted it but they haven't really like confirmed or announced anything um, as of this video, they currently have a one pager and that's currently that's all they have. I'm sure there's like a smaller studio or a smaller group of developers that are probably working on this. As of things we know that they're working on, we're going to be talking about certain things that have been discussed and certain things that we can just infer with common knowledge. But we're going to be talking about a lot of Fallout 5 content here in this video. If you guys do go on to enjoy, I would really appreciate if you guys can drop me a like, subscribe if you guys are new. And if you guys have anything to discuss about Fallout 5, drop it in the comments. I would love to have a discussion about this. And without further ado, let's just get right back into the video. So right off the bat, I just want to talk about the release date. So lucky for us, Todd Howard has actually talked about the release date for Fallout 5. And this can narrow down the timeline of when we could get a reveal get some more information and you know the really good thing about todd howard is he actually discusses games like way ahead even before it was announced or talked about and the issue revolving around that is that the elder scrolls 6 is actually the next game for bethesda now the elder scrolls 6 i do remember it was revealed like quite a while ago and it's insane that this game hasn't been talked about as much as it should be because this game was revealed i think even before fallout 76 was out or i could be wrong but you know todd howard said he would even love to have a fallout 5 but especially what's going on i don't think they're gonna be focusing working on fallout 5 and the elder scrolls 6 i think they're also gonna be working on starfield content that's something i do definitely think and just so you guys know the elder scrolls 6 is expected to be released sometime during or after 2026 so fallout 5 could be coming in the early or late 2030s because i do think that they have what they want to do with fallout 5 right now but i don't think they have any production done or even started at this moment the next big lingering question that i have and i wanted to discuss this in this video is the fact that fallout 5 might not come to ps5 at launch or even at all because the fact is that xbox owns the rights to fallout and you know they obviously own bethesda at this point it begs the question is fallout 5 going to be coming to ps5 or is it going to be xbox exclusive but with the recent news that Xbox, or in this case, Phil Spencer might be considering bringing Xbox exclusive titles to PlayStation, I can surely guess that Fallout 5 is going to be coming out to PS5. I think the saddest part about that actually is the fact that Xbox is gonna be losing millions of dollars, or they could go the route where they release the game at launch and then they get a release date for the PS5 version later down the line. I would imagine it'd be a couple months or maybe a year at the most, but I mean, that's the biggest lingering question I have. Is the game going to be coming to PS5? You know, especially with Xbox owning Bethesda. The last thing I want to talk about before I do end off the video is where is Fallout 5 going to be set? Now, there's a lot of locations that we can discuss, like San Francisco, Chicago, New Orleans, which is the most likely option. In 2016, an EU trademark was filed by Bethesda, and we don't know why as of right now. And this was a while ago, keep that in mind, that was a couple years ago. Well, we don't really know too much about New Orleans. We do know a little bit, and it's some small stuff. It's known in universe as the Cajun Wasteland, or the Big Easy. The landscape is made up of large swamps and sweeping coastline. This would be really different from Fallout 5. I mean, we do have swamps in Fallout 76, but I don't think they're utilized as much as we would like it to. 
I think it had a lot of potential because I would love to see more cryptids in Fallout 76 as more content is added. I do think the swamps, or just in general, the different variations of biomes that we get in Fallout 76 is what I would love for Fallout 5 to be. Some may agree, some may not, but I do want to end off the video there. I don't want to make a 10 minute video discussing potential leaks, rumors, and all that. This is like information that we know of because of Todd Howard, and I will link all my information and sources in the description. Please go check it out. There might be things that I did not cover and might be things that you would be interested in. Other than that, guys, that's going to have to wrap up today's video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.